Are you moving to Columbus, Ohio? Because in today's video, I am going to go over 15 facts about living in Columbus, Ohio, and stay tuned until the end, because if you can barely handle the first few, you might not want to move here after all. Fact number one, the weather variability. Columbus, Ohio has all four seasons, and a lot of people do not realize that Columbus, Ohio has a harsh winter. So if you do not like winter, snow, or freezing cold weather, Columbus, Ohio may not be for you. Number two, the rapid urban development. Columbus, Ohio is one of the fastest growing cities in the entire nation. In fact, Columbus, Ohio is going to see even more development over the next five to 10 years. So if you are not used to the amount of construction and the amount of development that causes delays, you may not like it here, especially if you're moving from a city that does not have this problem. Number three on the list, limited winter activities. While Columbus, Ohio, does have harsh winters and it does get really cold we do not have a lot of winter activities believe it or not we do not have any snowboarding or skiing here in columbus so you might still have to go on vacation during the winter to get those beautiful skiing and snowboarding experiences next on the list a lot of traffic congestion with the rapid urban development like we spoke about earlier columbus ohio does experience a lot of traffic congestion because of it now a lot of people would consider this a negative which it is but in the long term this will be great for the city but right now if you're not used to long commutes and you don't like sitting in traffic leave early for work or wherever you are going so you do not get frustrated and have road rage fact number five is the lack of historical charm Yes, Columbus is a very modern city, which a lot of people love. It's really developing. But with that being said, there is often a lack of historical charm. There is one area in particular, German Village, that does have that historical charm. But besides that, most parts of Columbus, Ohio are going to be standard or modern. Next on the list, the lack of limited public transportation. Now this is a huge issue for a lot of people and a lot of complaints because we do have the CODA bus system, which stands for the Central Ohio Transit Authority. It's an awesome busing system, but if you're coming from areas like New York or these larger metropolitan areas where there are subway systems or public transportation, this may be a frustrating because a typical bus ride is going to be 30 minutes to even an hour, depending on how far you travel. We also do have Ubers, but those aren't standard, typical public transportation systems. So with that being said, just be prepared if you do not have a car or planning on driving a car that you give yourself enough commute time due to the lack of public transportation. Before we get into some more facts about living in Columbus, Ohio, there is a free relocation guide in the description, so you're going to want to check that out. If you do plan on relocating to Columbus, Ohio, it's going to have everything from A to Z that you need to know about moving to Central Ohio and Columbus, Ohio. Next, let's talk about the air quality. Franklin County and Columbus, Ohio has okay air quality, but oftentimes during the summer months where it gets very humid, we have very high ozone levels and in addition to that there are very high levels of omission in our air this isn't a problem throughout the year but in the past franklin county and central ohio have had some air quality issues i know the city is working really hard on improving this every single year but that is a concern for some people when they do move to columbus ohio Next, let's talk about the cultural scene. A lot of people in Columbus, Ohio would say for as big as a city as Columbus, Ohio is, we do not have a fantastic cultural scene. I don't know if I necessarily agree with this. Columbus, Ohio is definitely expanding. So in the future, I definitely see that Columbus, Ohio will have a more diverse cultural scene. The next fact we're gonna talk about is the urban sprawl. Like we talked about earlier, the development in the city is growing at a rapid pace. A lot of times it feels like we don't even know what the city is going to do because it's growing so fast, but this is causing more traffic jams than ever before. So with Urban Sprawl, it's a good problem, but it also is a bad problem in the moment. So you just have to factor that in that the city is growing. So with that, there is going to be some growing pains. Next on the list, Columbus, Ohio judges their sports teams really, really hard. 
As you guys noticed, Ohio State lost to Michigan this year, the third year in the row. Fans are really, really tough here. It's definitely the talk of the town. So if you're not used to that or you're a Michigan fan, you may get annoyed relatively quickly. In addition to that, we have the Columbus Crew, the Columbus Blue Jackets, and the Columbus Clippers all here in Columbus, Ohio. So it is a big sports town and the sports fans are passionate. So if you're not a huge sports fan, you may find yourself in conversations you may want to get out of. Next, we're gonna talk about the lack of outdoor recreational activities. While Columbus does have some beautiful parks, it does overall lack a lot to do outdoors. So if you're an outdoors person and you like to spend a lot of time outdoors, you may have to travel outside of the state sometimes to find those outdoor activities that you enjoy on a regular basis. The next fact is the economic disparity in the population like any big city you are going to have your very wealthy areas and your not so wealthy areas columbus ohio is no different this has been a huge issue but you definitely see it especially as you get into downtown columbus and more of the heart of downtown we do experience some homelessness here in columbus ohio like every major metropolitan area i do not think it's any worse obviously than los angeles or new york or those big metro areas but we do have it and we do have economic despair between some of the population to piggyback on the economic disparity, let's talk about the educational challenges. While Columbus, Ohio is home to amazing universities such as Ohio State, Capital University, Otterbein University, the Columbus School of Art and Design, and Columbus State University, there are some disparities at the high school level. The biggest school district, the Columbus School District, does not have the highest ratings. And in my opinion, this could be an issue because it's the largest school district in the area. So I hope in years to come that they improve the school district and it gets the funds it needs to be a better and more desirable school district for parents and high school students. With that being said, there are some amazing school districts in the surrounding areas, such as the Dublin School District, Olentangy School District, and New Albany School District. Those are all in suburban areas. So keep that in mind, that typically that the better school districts are going to be in the suburbs. The next fact we have to talk about, this may be the most important, is the cost of living. Columbus, Ohio, is relatively affordable the cost of living is cheaper than most metropolitan areas but with that being said like we talked about earlier with the economic development and the amount of people coming to the area columbus ohio year after year is going to get more expensive this includes everyday living expenses such as housing transportation groceries, healthcare, and other amenities that you use every single day. So with that being said, Columbus, Ohio is still affordable, but the longer you wait, the more expensive it will be, especially when it comes to housing. This next fact is one that's hard to swallow for most. We do not have any close proximity to any awesome mountains or oceans nearby. Yes, yeah, so if you just want to go outside after a tough day at work or anything like that, you cannot go to the ocean. You are going to just have to deal with it. We do not have any awesome mountains. I wish we did, but this is something that we can never change. So if these two things are a must and you need close proximity to an ocean or you want to live near the mountains, do not move to Columbus, Ohio. This is definitely not the place for you we do have awesome parks and awesome walking trails but we have nothing like an awesome amazing beach or mountains fact number 14 columbus ohio is very politically divided so half of the population from my experience being born and raised here is democrat and half is republican especially right now this being an election year, you're going to see political divide in Columbus, Ohio, considering it's a huge city. So with that being said, do not come here and expect everyone to think like you politically. Be ready for open discussion and be ready for dialogue if you plan on moving to Columbus, Ohio. Last but not least, the limited entertainment. Columbus, Ohio, for as awesome as a city as it is, we have an awesome sports town, but besides that, we do lack entertainment from my experience. Columbus, Ohio does not have any amazing destinations that people come here for. We have Ohio State football, like I mentioned, but besides that, there is not a destination 
that people come here for just to come to Columbus, Ohio. So I hope in the future that Columbus, Ohio, and I know they are working on it, bring more destination entertainment places to the area so people can enjoy themselves and entertain their guests. Columbus, Ohio is an amazing place to live. The biggest reason that I see people who move here who don't like it is they move to the wrong place. With that being said, I have an awesome free relocation guide that will be in the description for you to check out. It goes over everything you need to know about relocating to Columbus, Ohio and the best areas to live. With that being said, guys, I am a local realtor here in Columbus, Ohio. I answer every single phone call, text, and email that I get. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video.